the moment that you've all been waiting for is finally here and I'm, I'm 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 super excited to be hosting this grand finals again welcome everybody to the grand finale potentially part one of two of the spring randomizer tournament for castlevania symphony of the night and with me as always and honestly it's it's a pretty nice commentary duo i have beside me eldritch will it ready will it enable to call the action how you doing buddy good afternoon legends and heroes it's great to be here bobby it's <laughs> we're finally here and, and and we had a little bit of taste of how these two play in the winners finals and i'm wondering to see if we're if there's any sorts of switch up i mean oh and, and, and like the chat's excited we're gonna get we're gonna get some prediction up there in a minute but honestly we gotta give props first of all to all of the competitors nearly 16 of y'all that have been uh that have that have been into this bracket playing with your hearts out we've had some really tight matches and some really nice placements but now this is where it all begins now we have jupiter climb sorry there we go now we have jupiter climb who shall be on the right who is in the winner's bracket we have dragon blitz trying to take him down twice in two sequential matchups again if you don't know if you don't necessarily know how these uh double elimination brackets work out it's actually quite very simple all you gotta do if you're in the lower bracket is that you gotta take down the upper bracket participant take him down with you into the lower bracket and defeat him in one-on-one -on -one combat or i guess randomizer <laughs> yeah usually how this works is whenever you go into losers bracket you actually have to take the winner uh the of the winners bracket and take them into losers bracket with you so it's like starting an argument with an idiot you, you bring them down to your level and beat them with experience and then you get to face them again in the losers bracket to find out who actually won mm -hmm. now we gotta pay go, go ahead. ahead no no you go ahead <laughs> we we gotta pay attention to the fact that jupiter climb has been the craw giant of this uh tournament he has literally trampled over and rampaged every single person that he has come across in this tournament including dragon blitz once before so this is not a match without precedent we actually saw these two racers race it off a while ago but we are looking for Dragon Blitz to try to win this match so that he can try to reclaim the place at the top of the sea. And we've been running this preset pretty much all the live long tournament. You'll see a lot of wolf stuff happening, especially in the first bit. Uh, it's especially if we don't get any uh, additional bits of movement like the bat or anything like that. Really great death skips by both players. And now we're gonna get to play in the game. One of the most important things about the death skip, for those who were not necessarily aware, in order, uh, the reason why we want to do the death skip is one, we get to keep the shield rod, which is a very powerful weapon when combined with certain shields. The other reason why we want to do the death skip is because of the mystic pendant. The mystic pendant allows uh, uh, our racers to recharge their MP at an increased rate. So it's really po positive for their momentum for them to keep moving if they have that mystic pendant available. Absolutely, indeed. I got some doubled audio here. Let me cut that down a little bit. There we go. Got some nice curry rice. Hopefully you folks uh, had a nice meal and some hydration before turning all oh, lot, lots of food here. We got the buffet of the night over here. It's often joked about that Dracula was a chef before he was a count, um, in inventing the Frankenfurter and the hamburger long before the <laughs> 1900s. A little bit of a lore drop there for you. <laughs> All right, let, let's look onto our uh, one of our really cool boss tricks, especially on transforming from the wolf again, buffering that Tetris spirit. Hopefully, able to take both of them down in one fell swoop. It's it's really quick. It's really easy. Jupiter climb succeeded there, whereas Dragon Blitz had to get a separate kill on each of them.
One of the best things that we can uh, anticipate from these racers is that both of them are masterful at execution, right? Dragon mm -hmm. Blitz, a longtime world record holder for almost every a la carte category that exists. <laughs> and then Jupiter Climb, who has sped run the game a bit, but it, he proves himself to be more of a randomizer player than an actual speedrunner. Yeah, but don't 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 let those accolades kind of fool you. I mean, Jupiter Climb has actually taken quite a top spot uh, in the glitchless category of Symphony of the Night, and that is mm -hmm. an incredibly fun and also execution-heavy category, especially when traversing through the caverns and the Reverse Castle and onward. So it's he is no slouch. But when it comes to, you know, going by the book with the execution and everything. Yeah, J Jupiter Climb is one of those people who, when he sets his mind to do a speed run, he sets his uh, sights on a record or something. He's going to try, he's going to do everything that he can to achieve it. And most oftentimes he does. He runs almost every single uh, Metroidvania that was produced. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's impossible to keep track of everything that he does. In the, in the same uh, token, Dragon Blitz is uh, kind of toyed around with a lot of the uh, uh, other speedrun categories, especially for PlayStation as well, like 2D platformers, 3D platformers, love some Super Metroid, love some Spyro and all that, uh, and, you know, things like that. Like, again, the, the pixel perfect. Look at the, look at the sink right now. Like, God. It's just so the, these, nice. This, this these is, are the exact same player twice. Yes, this is, <laughs> <laughs> and no, this, these are not both capture feeds, all right? These are not duplicate capture feeds. These are Jupiter Climb and dragon blitz These, this is the grand finals this is what you're supposed to be getting here now dragon blitz said uh, earlier before this tournament bracket uh or rather this match started that he didn't really get much practice for randomizer heading into this but it doesn't really show it's not the moment <laughs> no what is showing is the years um the decades of experience that these players have and that's really where all of this comes from once it's ingrained into your muscle memory it never leaves mm -hmm. All right, going towards our next couple of checks. Not really much of any anywhere else that we can possibly go at the moment. There are uh, two that, that are easily reachable. One is also in the shop, and the easily reachable one is uh, another card. Now uh, you got, oh, well, you'll pick up that sword card, Dragon Blitz will. Now it's going to be uh, going on to uh, Supermarket Sweep, see what is in there, see what they can see. Uh, Jupe did pick up the Aqu Aquamarine. Not seeing any relic in there as well like i'm interested in chris for 1200 or, or 12,000. yeah it's that chrissy other than that well fire shield is important yeah, yeah. though yeah a couple of shields right there that could be uh, good for pick up but also let's see what this fairy card location would yield i'm assuming we're <laughs> jaying it up boys <laughs> <laughs> we're jaying it up as we're blazing through this seed right now. Looks like Jupiter Climb is making his way out of the library a little bit faster than Dragon Blitz. Dragon Blitz grabbing the sword card set him back uh, about three seconds mm -hmm. and his wolf movement throughout the library was a little bit less optimal. And we kind of seen through like the winner's bracket, like these are pretty equally matched in, in skill and execution, but it's the timing, it's the consistency that, that matters, especially in a in a one shot setting or and again, a best of three match to either take Jupiter down to the loser's bracket or for Jupiter to take it completely. So yeah. The little, and we, little... here we are we're seeing the nike air jordans at the top of the elevator mm -hmm. this gives both of our racers uh out of logic flight yeah so uh as soon as you uh, can untransform from a, from a wolf you enter this sort of state and if you have the gravity boots you can actually do use that state to chain uh infinite infinitely as long as you have enough mana so yeah this gives some good old flight out of logic uh it looks like jupiter's gonna be heading up might as well uh check what's in that clock tower yeah fire of bat check is such a convenient check from here um you'll often see racers uh do it as soon as they can get it to the outer wall like if they come back from a library card or if they come back through the teleporter they'll often do this check as soon as they humanly can it's the big old bubkiss yep <laughs> nothing uh. 
and even a couple of uh, the checks going into rather you know going into the keep there's not really all that much of use now, yeah. especially there are some choice items that could turn to titan battle we've seen it before we've seen random enemies drop duplicators and mana prisms these will be integral to keeping the pace of the movement especially if you're using your mana for gravity boots or wolf or whatever it might be yeah one of the main appeals of this preset is is that because of the mystic pendant and the way that they have re reworked the uh wolf mp consumption this preset keeps moving right um a lot of other presets especially towards the beginning uh presets like nimble or or batmaster you run out of mana very quickly or you run out of mp very quickly because you're spending all of that um because wolf is the primary lateral movement you're running into a lot faster seeds with this all right fairly decent kills on karasuman for both players but again Dragon Blitz kind of lagging behind by a couple of seconds now. Jupiter actually having to retreat in order to regain the mana while Dragon Blitz finds out another card. Yeah. Taking that elixir though, again, uh, usable items like elixirs, mana prisms also provide a brief moment of invulnerability, which would be really, really cool for uh, a clutch moment in a boss fight. I mean, we've seen how boss fights can kind of go wrong uh, before. Mm hmm. Dragon Blitz is getting kind of bullied by these uh, flea riders here. Oh, I thought he was going to be damage boosted to the right. He, and he picks up a gold ring. Now what's what's on here and that's power of mist doesn't Is necessarily have the same. Uh, th yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There we go. The Jupiter. Oh, thing, so, go ahead. The the interesting thing about that is is that sprite is actually used for three out of the out of the like seven <laughs> katanas. Oh no, Jupiter! <laughs> Jupiter he, he knows the golden ring is just within out. reach, but the flea riders will Combo take hold out. once again. And that will actually put Dragon Blitz up by a quite a fair bit. This is our first pivotal moment in a match between these two. Yeah. And you know, it's 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 the it's the RNG, right? Like the RNG is what makes or breaks games like this. Um, a lot of people who play uh, video games, especially randomizers, if you play Magic the Gathering, you understand that the randomness within that game is what makes the game's so fun to play because mm -hmm. that's what makes the that's what allows players it doesn't like we're not saying that it, either dragon blitz or jupiter climb is a worse player than the other but it's what allows worse players to beat better players or it's what creates differences between players in matches like this now we did see silver ring uh, getting collected here at entrance they now have both rings they can both hit uh holy glasses both of the rings being at the same level of complexity just after mm -hmm. flight whoa a library card right out of that entrance yeah library card is going to be a huge for routing i wonder if jupiter climb is going to get the same thing yeah let's see now it, it, it's, it's it's incredibly interesting because like again in the winners finals match they did not touch that ledge at all correct and normally you won't see players touch that ledge unless they make a mistake. No, but, but they side. both see it. They both grab it. All right, library card. So we got quick wars back to library just in case other things open up. Again, the uh, lesser demon has that uh, that great behind them for the boss, and you need that mist that could definitely pass. Oh, there's leapstone, leapstone That's from above Slagra and Gaibon. So now you got some really nice movement. You already yeah. did with gravity boots, but it takes a lot less time to set up now. Yeah. Also, it grants access to front slides because front slides are always necessary. Mm. Look, at, look at him front sliding on the on the block, even like like who are you, Dragon Blitz? Who are you? He is a madman <laughs> on a mission. <laughs> Well, he leaves behind the Book of Names. <laughs> Good old fairy scroll, right? Another Aquamarine. <laughs> is... Now, now, this is from my inexperience, but is duping allowed? Like, Dragon Blitz no. has the sword card. Okay, there, that's... 
no. Um, <laughs> we actually um, have a bit of a conundrum here because there is a new tech uh, that was discovered by Jupiter Climb just recently where you can actually replace the properties of a monster vial with mm -hmm. the properties of just about any other single-handed use items. So we're talking bombs, food, Buffalo uh, stars. you know, dynamite, <laughs> iron balls. Uh, you know, it replaces the damage. It replaces the how it hits. And that is actually a glitch. It is a glitch according to the programming of the game. And one of the things that is coming under contention right now is whether or not to allow what we have dubbed vial stacks in randomizer play because randomizer is based off of the glitchless rule set. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can definitely see how that uh, would, would, put a would put a tie into things. Jewel of Open, right above Clock Room, and uh, mm -hmm. Dragon Blitz already on our way or on their way uh, to the. Uh, Maybe vanilla holy glasses? Let's see. There's always yeah, that, that possibility, you know? Matthias is bringing up a very good point. Jupiter Climb did collect the monster vial. If this comes into play, we may see a huge debate about the uh, legality of vial stacks uh, after this race. And this is not something new. Every single tournament, what has ended up happening is, is we find out about something and we have to debate whether or not it should be a legal maneuver. <laughs> soul of Bat is Ooh, actually... Soul of Bat. And that opens up a lot of places, especially in the first castle. And we're going to be seeing a lot of movement from these two. Now, this is still pretty much er like a pretty early in the seed. So you're still going to be seeing a lot more of round one. But it's just going to be a lot more fun to watch this time around. According to... Uh... KGH, KJH, um, Jupiter did not collect the uh, the mana prism there on the other side. So that may end up making a slight bit of difference because the mana prism could end up saving Dragon Blitz when he runs it, out of MP. Yeah, at some that, point. That's purely intentional. Uh, Jupiter wants a round three. No. <laughs> <laughs> We all want a round three, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we all don't. Do we all want a round three? Do we want a bracket reset? Do we want more Symphony of the Night randomizer tournament chat? Let me know. Dragon Blitz making his way into the Coliseum now. What's that check? Fire a bat. We could, uh, you know, Yuck. hard pass. The only time Fire a Bat is good is in the new Batmaster preset that has been revitalized by MT Fun. You keep telling me about Batmaster. When is Batmaster? Batmaster's I, already live on Soton.io. I, I mean, I mean, I mean the races. I need mean, like, like. All right, we did Wolf this time. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll do like, we'll do like Mist Mist Master next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have we do have a a quote unquote Mist Master seed. It's Warlock. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> And for those who don't know, on July 2nd, we will be doing a Bounty Hunter event where you can actually get Vlads as drops from enemies. Wasn't that... Really? See, look at all these great presets. And again, let's got to plug in SOTN.io. There's been a whole uh, uh, effort of community. There's been a whole effort of developers just really making such a transformative game speaking of uh works of community i have been working with a lot of other racers and a lot of people within the symphony of the night community we have launched symphony rando dot fun which is actually a great introductory guide on how to get started with the randomizer it also provides a compendium of resources on speed running tech and all sorts of other stuff for symphony of the night mm -hmm. So, I mean, if, if, if any of this uh, intrigues you and you want to get a seed generated and going, there are a plethora, a wealth of information, a long library, if you will, of resources that will get you 100% your feet wet. And also people that are re ready, willing, and able to race alongside you, teach you the tricks of the trade and whatnot. So it's like one of, the, one of the most welcoming randomizer communities that I've been a part of in quite some time. Now here we see the racers heading on down towards Succubus. Dragon Blitz in the lead a little bit. Does so, a successful first time soul steal to grab an Os Osafune, even though he what? already has a Masamune. You mean you're not gonna <laughs> you're not you're not gonna grab the tear thing? <laughs> I will leave the tear thing on the shelf, my friend. <laughs> 
That's the that is the super taunt of this game. <laughs> Someone said this cape rules. I love this cape. Y'all, if y'all know about the brigade, I love my favorite color is red and purple. <laughs> There's the fire shield coming into play. You're a vampire. Could it be <laughs> that strength, that beauty? You're the son of Lord Dracula. <laughs> like, like it just kind of like clicked in for her. Like, man, you know, where else have I seen like this really freaking sexy long silver fox of a man? I just can't like. There ain't enough of. Damn it! It's Alucard. Oh, whoa! That makes sense. I'm gonna die now. <laughs> I actually saw uh, way way long ago a uh, an image that somebody drew of Alucard and Sephiroth teaming up, the silver-haired sexy heroes. Mm. I, I, I'd play that game. Maybe, <laughs> maybe like an action like Musu Dynasty Warriors type game. I, I'd be a part of it. Ooh, activating the fire shield right deep in the hitbox of Skeeta. And there it goes for Jupiter Climb as well. And there go the now, holy glasses for the both of them. Oh, that means that we know that we can head out to head up to Second Castle. Um, that could mean that they are part of the chain of complexity. We have to yeah. see what else is available down here. <coughs> yeah, not really. Well, yeah, going to have to take a little bit of a mana refresh here. And that will probably like kind of like even up the time that Jupiter did a little bit, uh, you know, earlier in the keep to refill the MP. But again, even with the bat, like it's still very mana intensive. Technically, they're at a, they're still at a little bit of a low level, so uh, the the mana yeah. usage will be a bit well moderate, used in moderation. Now, see here, I see uh, Dragon Blitz. He did a full save. I think he was contemplating doing a save split there, but I guess he decided not to after all. Meanwhile, Jupiter Climb is headed on down to Merman Statue to do the check. If we remember the last time that these two faced off, Jupiter Climb skipped Merman uh, Statue check, and that won him the match. Mm -hmm. well, Jupiter ending up with another card to draw. As uh, Dragon Blitz makes its way down to the catacombs, a little bit iffy on the on the, on the execution, but hey, again, this is grand finals. Like even though, oh, yeah. there goes our first bone of lad, first piece of Exodia right there. Shot down one on twenty one minutes in. This is very interesting because I, you know, you don't normally see Dragon Blitz skipping checks like this unless it's a tried and proven method. I have to wonder, are are we witnessing Dragon Blitz's Neo moment? Is he starting to believe? Yeah, this this, this is the heel turn. I, I, I feel like, and I think you, we kind of heard it a little bit in his interview in the winner's, winner's bracket, where it's like, you know, I might have I might have played a bit too safe. Where, where, yeah. whereas, whereas Jupiter made a lot of really, um, really clutch decisions on orphaning on, on uh, deciding, you know, what route to go with first that I think Dragon Blitz wants to play it a little bit more risky just so that we can, uh, you know, even those odds a little bit. Now, Dragon Blitz here is going for the old fashioned blind bat in, as opposed to the new wolf tech. I yeah. think that it's just safer to go with blind bat instead of the new wolf tech. The wolf tech has uh, about, I think it was uh, uh, two or three frames where you can land in an invincibility area. But the blind bat is just, it's a tried and true method mm -hmm. for all yeah, speedrunners. No. Yeah, I was just about to say that. We got the mist that could pass. So we have a couple of uh, options that are open to us still in the first castle. And they did pick up the library card to zip back to the soul of bat check if they so choose. We got diamonds and a lot of these also cool gems to use for supermarket sweep. Dragon Blitz making me a little bit wary there, but I think he's got it. Oh, I knew he had that one. Like that's a that's a common thing that we've seen from uh, the Lycanthrope preset. We've witnessed a lot of racers starting to do the wolf exit strategy, right? Mm -hmm. Just to try to get out of there and, and do it faster than you would normally do by flying through. 
Now this is interesting. Dragon Blitz decided to go to the right side first to check the Spike Breaker check, which is one of the highest complexity checks mm. in the castle, while Jupiter Climb opted to go uh, for Grand Falloon first. All right, well then let's see about what Grand Falloon holds behind the boss chamber, making the, uh, with, you know, holding with bated breath. I can't, what's it gonna be? Oh, another library card? card interesting how interesting so grand falloon check is basically paying for itself according to dragon blitz he now he has two library cards and he's probably going to use one of them to head back to library right away yeah yep gotta use using the library card there I mean, once you're out of the library, once you're done with supermarket sweep and, and the additional relic checks, you got easy teleports uh, places to go where anywhere in the castle. Again, there's still a couple yep. of more checks on the uh, sorry, Western side in the West Wing there. Interesting, he doesn't do the supermarket sweep despite the fact that he did grab a diamond earlier so he could afford a Christogram. You think he was aware of that or, or is he gonna come out on the on the way out? It's possible he could grab it on the way out. He might use the library card to get out of Soul of Bat. Now, right, let's see. Lesser demon being a chud, but, uh... <laughs> and Jupiter meanwhile... Climb going for the previously mentioned Wolf Strat instead of just doing Blind Bat. Now, this, this is going to cost him a lot of time. Yes, absolutely. Whereas Dragon Blitz just kind of went the speed runner route. I mean, you know, taking advantage of the invincibility of the bat dash or sorry the wing smash my bad um you could just look right now at just how much this would be bleeding time this would probably be like a equivalent to uh the safe split a little bit earlier in the catacombs now it was mentioned earlier that jupiter climb could be just kind of playing getting reacclimated to 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 uh the seed and, and everything at this juncture because he does have a full set to play with if he loses this match he can lose, you know, another race and still have another set to beat Dragon yeah. Blitz out of losers. Yeah, Jupiter Clowns is, is in like the most comfortable spot that you could possibly be uh, in, in a tournament match like this. I mean, like it is grand finals. He did earn his way here. So props to him for that. Um, you gotta be careful about, <laughs> about, about, about these seeds. You don't know what's gonna be happening. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, will you be on borrowed time or will you capitalize on the time that you're given? Dragon Blitz now making his way over to Ulrox's quarters. Looks like he's going to take on the Ulrox and sword card checks before heading over to Silver Ring. Silver Ring being one of the other high complexity checks because it requires Spike Breaker, it requires Mist, and it requires Jewel of Open. We won't see them using Spike Breaker though because we can do that check out of logic by mm -hmm. cheesing iframes. Mm -hmm. There we go, Jupiter on his way to disappoint. What was that? Well, we'll get that on the way up. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't have $12,000? Well, there might be a Chrissy Teigen right there waiting for you. There we go. All rocks. Can we get, do we have any all rocks enjoyers in the chat? No. I will okay. say the only thing that I like more than one Chrissagrim is two Chrissagrim. Oh, yeah. Is that you saying? Is that, is that the plural of Chrysogrim? Just Chrysogrim? Is that like deer? <laughs> well, the Chrysogrim is actually a reference to the Chrysogrim mountain range in the Lord of the Rings universe. Ah. So you might be right. Let's see what's in here. Vorpal. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, not. <laughs> that, that, that could be Chrysogrim if you mash hard enough. <laughs> I've actually done several tests on that. Cannot mash fast enough to get a Chrysogram out. There's actually a limit to how fast There's the Vorpal a limit. Blade recovers. Yes, there is a top end limit to how fast the Vorpal can swing. All right. Dragon Blitz picking up the Ring of Vlad, two pieces of Exodia, making his way back onto the West Wing. And uh, possibly getting into that Silver Ring check as well. I mean, it's right there. 
Now, what I expect to see from Dragon Blitz here is he's probably going to do the Silver Ink check, find out that it's garbage or, you know, a random Vlad, one of the two. It's always one of them. And then he'll probably head straight to Second Castle by way of Hippogriff. I'd, I'd probably. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Let's see, Maria, Maria. Oh! Oh, no. Are we not done? So Holy Glasses into Spike Breaker in Second Castle mm? all the way back to caverns could be the chain of logic it's so odd like it's so cool once like you understand how to count these steps of complexity and again if, if those that are at home are having trouble kind of following it there is a tutorial by good by our good old member dinner dog that will get you up to speed on uh how to make educated guesses on how to make your route in randomizer a little bit faster yeah and one of the other things that, you know, both Jupiter and Dragon Blitz are going to be using, they're not just going to be counting their complexity chain, they're also going to be using the confidence count because Jupiter, uh, Dinner Dog has both has videos on both of those techniques. Mm -hmm. Dragon Blitz is taking a bit to think. He's doing a think. Now, I don't count either of these racers out yet because no. there's still plenty of castle left. Um, we have an entire second castle. Despite the fact that Dragon Blitz already has a lead on Jupiter headed in back down to the caverns, we could see something crazy. Again, we could see Jupiter climb go left side, strong side. Mm -hmm. Seems like for the moment that these two are taking their time to come to clear the castle and not necessarily chase the complexity though Well, let's see uh, well merman statue was was just picked up so I'll take you to a why did you skip my dialogue? <laughs> <laughs> Am I not important to you? <laughs> Always when I was a young see... boy. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> Always take me to see something interesting. <laughs> you know, it's so interesting because the dialogue here says that he takes you to meet your destiny. My destiny was a snorkel. Mm. <laughs> Dragon Blitz getting the door skip here. Yeah, also a pretty like really neat piece of tech. And right there. Final Vlad. We have the three pieces of Exodia. Dragon Blitz looking ready and kind of focused. Yeah, Dragon Blitz is ready to take this seat out. Uh, he knows that this is final Vlad. He's basically calculated based off of both the complexity count and the confidence score. This is it. He's done. He needs to get to second castle. He needs to find the other two Vlads. He's probably going to take right side. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Jupiter Climb, he grabbed that, and then he's taking the slow way back. He wants to save his library card for some reason, maybe to escape the uh, the Merman statue check itself. Yeah, I'd say that that's a pretty safe bet, because like it, let's say that the Merman statue didn't hold anything there. It would be such a slog going on the way back, and since you already cleared the uh, kind of like bottom southern parts of the castle, like it would just be an entire slog. He already knows he's a bit behind because of that wolf tech uh, mm -hmm. to, to, to check spike breaker, right? So uh, he's got to think of something now. He used both cards? Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, if Jupiter Climb has already used both cards, this sets him firmly behind. And he knows that he has to gamble for a win. But again, it's it's a it's a comfortable spot. Yeah, you yeah. can you can you can kind of take a game. You can get reacclimated. Again, Jupiter Climb's been been playing like other games like Aria, Ritual of the Night, and all that. And mm -hmm. I mean, coming from like fighting games like myself, if I if I want to go from like Street Fighter to uh, Blaze Blue or Grand Blue, like it's not gonna translate 100 percent 
So. Yeah, it doesn't translate 100%. You're still using similar reflexes, but your muscle memory is completely different for some of those. You yeah. know, Blaz Blue being a Sammy property and then Street Fighter being a Capcom. It, it definitely switches things up. Mm. All right, so we got entering the second castle at around 33 minutes for Dragon Blitz, holding three pieces of Exodia quite firmly. Jupiter Climb going to be going for that door skip tech as well. Same as trying to, trying to squeeze as much time save out of this jester as possible. He is going to be pleasantly surprised when he comes upon the tooth of Vlad. And now he's going to be having to make it all the way out to the second castle, whereas well, Dragon Blitz is already at the Darkwing Bat. Yeah, it looks like Jupiter must have already used both of his library cards, which means that he is doing the same slog that Dragon Blitz did, running over to that teleporter so that he can do a double and then get out of there. That's kind of unfortunate, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jupiter Climb opting for the route that goes through Ulrox? Or Outer Wall? Oh, Dragon Blitz definitely wants to be done with this seed. You know, we, we've spoken with Jupiter in the past, and, and you know, he definitely respects uh, Dragon Blitz. He knows what kind of racer he's facing. He knows that some he's racing somebody who's going to be um, very methodical in their approach to the randomizer, very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Safe. He's, he's very safe, and... He also understands that Dragon Blitz just has this capacity to make up time everywhere. And that's piece of Exodia number four, the Eye of Vlad behind Medusa. So we, it is borrowed time right now for Dragon Blitz to catch, or sorry, for Jupiter Climb to catch up. Yeah, for sure. Like he can't even do left side now. We as the audience know that Deus Ex Machina, let's just become one with machines. <laughs> Uh, for those that are inquiring, so this is a best of three. However, it still falls under double elimination rules, meaning that Dragon Blitz actually has to take two complete sets of these best of three rounds in order to completely eliminate Jupiter Climb. Dragon Blitz deciding to skip the dark armor here. It's actually a move that I agree with for once. I don't normally skip dark armor, but be considering that he has the fire shield and the Masamune, I think he's got bees under his belt. Yeah, he's he's pretty he's pretty kitted out right now, like for as as much as the randomizer would have given him. All you gotta do now is don't get command grab, but all, all you do is spam that Hadouken motion over and over and I can't hit you. <laughs> I mean, Ryu versus Zangief, who wins in a ranged <laughs> <my> fight. <laughs> yeah, there's no drive rush here. This ain't Street Fighter 6. This is 1997, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jupiter entering the second castle and might get caught up. Let's see. You know, you know, people here were not hoping for a creature seed, but I had to tell them like 90% of matches hosted on this channel right here. We're in, we're in, as a matter of fact, creature seeds. You know, it's going to be disappointing to me if this ends up being a creature seed only for the sake of the fact that it's like, this is one of the few times that we see a lead like this where Dragon Blitz is this far ahead of Jupiter headed into second castle or even headed through second castle together. And so if it ends up being a creature seed, well, Dragon Blitz is the kind of player that would go visit creature anyway. Jupiter Climb, however, is not known for liking creature in tournament. Mm. <laughs> well, it does look like those are, well, these two competitors are going to be going on the East Wing on the, of the reverse castle. Yeah. Always skip versus never skip. What say you chat? Would you would you face the creature if you had four pieces of Exodia? Or could it be right here? I mean, like <laughs> that is a good point. Dragon Blitz has the mana prism, so he was less likely to skip creature. Mm -hmm.
Personally, I would go ahead and skip creature. There's only one Vlad left, and the odds call it out. All right, then we're making our way around the world like Killer Instinct Jago. And we'll be seeing creature, not creature, sorry. We'll be seeing uh, good old Beals in just a minute. Really good climb up the chapel, down the chapel, down the upside the reverse chapel. <laughs> yes. Topsy turvy in and out and back again. And Dragon Blitz has got to be reveling in the fact that like Bat was acquired relatively early, like around less yes. than 15 minutes in. And I feel like that's the comfort zone. Like, like, yeah, this is a wolf seed, but if it gives you Bat right off the bat, why not? I, I'm interested in that fight there. He he decided not to flip over to the fire shield, which would have been the much faster route to defeat bees. I wonder if he calculated the menuing issue into that uh uh, delay into that mm. before he went in because menuing is a uh, non-zero factor <laughs> oh, we, 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 we have seen uh, people just kind of like take a couple seconds maybe even like you know half, half a minute to like figure out exactly what to do here uh, especially when it comes to like you know menuing and figuring out the correct loadout because i mean if you're not as powerful as say one with a chrysogrim or a vorpal or you know any of these uh, uh power stat granting rings like mm -hmm. you're gonna have to improvise and if you improvise incorrectly especially in the second castle you are one swath of a swipe away from certain death yeah Dragon Blitz making the way up. The reverse Zico cavern. Is talking about images you can hear. He says, I can actually hear the what on JC's side when <laughs> he got <pops> in. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. There's always a chance. There, there's a full <laughs> set and potentially even more throughout this grand finals match. One thing I have noticed is that any at any opportunity where Jupiter Climb it can impress somebody, he is going to impress somebody. I have seen him consistently skip creature throughout an entire tournament, and then in the one time that it actually matters, he goes to creature without any regard <laughs> as to whether or not it makes sense to do so or not. He would go to creature and be like, oh, there's the Vlad, I'm out. And it's insane. <laughs> Jupiter Climb will be the person that would like spawn the heart of Vlad from a freaking meal ticket, and you're just like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, who's eating this? <laughs> All right, Jupiter Climb making his way. Sorry, uh, Dragon Blitz making his way on the Doppel 40. Y'all want to learn how to do an infinite? Masamune is super strong still. The Masamune special, uh, uh, if I remember correctly, adds 100 to the base attack of, of whatever special it's tied to. So, you know, if you find a, a katana in the randomizer that has the Masamune special, it's just adding 100 attack to whatever your base stat is. Mm -hmm. Dragon Blitz being really, really cognizant of the mana that he decides to spend trying to escape from here. There is a, a, a safe spot like right outside the boss gate to replenish some mana. Just, there we go. But we all know that dive bats are free. Well, let's see. Jupiter What's Jupiter Climb doing here? Are we seeing a divergence to the West Wing? And it's gonna happen. You know, risks this have is to the be kind taken. of thing that I came here to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Risks have to be taken. Jupiter knows that. And it's not really that common for Jupiter to be kind of sweating 40, 40 minutes in like this, you know? 
Well, part of the randomizer racing community is understanding the person who you are racing. Jupiter Climb knows, A, we have four Vlads at Medusa. B, Dragon Blitz is a very fast, very methodical player. If Dragon Blitz hasn't finished yet, that means that there's a problem. <laughs> and that it has to be much later in the seed than he expected. And Vlad to there be. it goes! Death holds the heart of Vlad! It is officially go time for Dragon Blitz! And now he just has to figure out the fastest way to the clock room to open up that final room. Oh, that teleporter is calling his name. Ooh. Like a long lost lover. <laughs> And we can pretty much we can pretty much say GG's at this current moment in time. It's gonna take a long while for Jupiter to double back to death to pick up that final piece. But let's let's just enjoy our time here. Chino, uh, the odds of Dragon Blitz of all people dying to Dracula, Dragon Blitz being the person who actually made the video on how to beat Dracula consistently. So so the point there is zero zero two percent chance so there is this thing called the commentator's curse right <laughs> Where, whereas if, if you if you attempt to preempt if you attempt to predict you will get well uh, quite ridiculed at the end so let, let's just see <laughs> he does have the moss immune uh the shaft fight might go a little bit slower than intended but this might just be the victory lap let's see Masamune versus Shaft. I expect three swings in the air followed by a special or two on the ground. Mm. You can't special in the air for Masamune, can you? Correct. Okay. <laughs> Dracula could die at Dragon Blitz. 100% <laughs> correct. <laughs> That will be the end of Dracula's speed run in uh, taking over the world. Oh man, I I could have I could have like imagined like a funny wager like oh I guess the winner of the tournament has the last split named after them right? <laughs> there there you go. It was actually five swings in the air and two specials on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> See what I tell you. <laughs> I was well off met, my son. It's been a long time. I had hoped not to return, father. <laughs> Here we go, beholding the true power. Welcome to Bitrate City That's right here, the there loop. it goes. And I wanna learn how to do one infinite. God's child so, take notes. So so he's basically so he's basically tr <laughs> tracing the hitbox when mm -hmm. he's all the way to the left, so he'll swipe. There we go, and that's it. That is the first of two games today? That's the first of two games today. Possibly three. Can we see you back and forth? Oh, <laughs> oh you you know Jupiter's not gonna take this line down. You have been GG's to I, I Dragon want him Blitz. To take though. It running. I want to see a a, a, a brisk jog, <laughs> <laughs> little little gaily stroll, if you will. Yes. <laughs> there we go. That's that's one up on the blitz. Tell me, what what were Lisa's last words? She said, "Do not." She said, "Do not hate humans." If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm, for theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. Oh, sh ah! <laughs> And that's it. That's it right there. Dragon Blitz up by one, y'all. Dragon Blitz up by one. What an incredible first round. What an explosive first round to this grand final set. And we got a lot more of that coming at you.
we're gonna be getting our our second race our second seed generated so do not go away and everybody if you have been enjoying this castlevania symphony tonight randomizer tournament follow this channel follow these competitors channels at dragon blitz and jupiter climb we're gonna be showcasing a lot of vania a lot of randomizers here as well so with that being said we're gonna get ready for our next match and we're also gonna be running some ads so that they don't intrude on the tournament match because i do care about the viewership base here we will be right back everyone with more of this grand finale after this everybody welcome back to the grand finale of this spring randomizer tournament for castlevania symphony of the night i have been bobby and with me has been eldritch and we're here to cast this incredibly hype set that could potentially go beyond this stream dragon blitz has the ability to reset the bracket right now but Jupiter Climb, again, will not take that loss lying down. Again, he's in a more comfortable spot. And uh, what, what an explosive first seed, Eldritch. How's it going, man? Oh, like that seed, it made me sweat. I had to go get water during the intermission because I was just... Whew. All right, channel predictions are live. Y'all got a pretty beefy payout. But let's see if the tides will turn right now. We're waiting for our competitors to start on off. But let me let me let me let me ask y'all, are y'all hype for round two? I am looking for a Soten Moment 37 here. Soten Moment 37? <laughs> yeah, Alucard's just gonna parry everything with the Alucard shield. <laughs> I, I, I do want to see the reversal. I want to see uh, this turn into two matches. Uh, what can I say? I, I, I'm here for the hype, you know? I'm not here for anything else. <laughs> All right, Jupiter and and dragon blitz with the daddy stacks of phase one nice weapon juggling let's see if we can turn the time for phase two dragon blitz actually getting Ooh, a faster stacks. kill of Ooh, dracula Ooh. this time around and that's a couple of seconds ahead already those stacks were insane on dragon blitz's part mm -hmm. All right, again, to get everybody up to speed, this is the Lycanthrope edition of Symphony of the Night Randomizer. Starting off with some nice wolf relics. Starting off with some mana mitigation. And that sweet, sweet shield rod. And that sweet, sweet cape. Hello, the royal purple? Let's go. Oh. You know, we are definitely watching a, a face-off between two kings of the randomizer right now. So this is more than suitable. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just a little bit of platform in air right there. But again, looks like both of these boys have skipped death and now the randomizer race begins. What so is what? our first set of drops? We the Nato, Nato and an, <laughs> an, and an Iron, Iron Ball. Ball. No, but Iron hey. Ball is not out of place, strictly speaking. Strictly <laughs> speaking, you could use Iron Ball as part of Vile Stacks. It does have a higher attack than any of the monster vials. See, I wonder if we're going to be seeing any of that throughout this grand final set. The Vile Stacking is such a new technique. The, the trick with the Vile Stacks is, is that you actually have to Mana set Prism. yourself Sorry, up good. for it. Ooh, yeah, Mana Prism right there. That can make a lot of routing differences if used correctly. 
But yeah, the vial stacks, it, it does take a menuing component, right? You have to weigh the option of using the tech against a boss versus, you know, how long it takes to put it together. And here we go, some mirrored movement here, coming up the Slogger Gaibon. Jupiter just a little bit faster though. That's interesting to me. Yeah, letting go like just before the apex of the jump to, you know, mm -hmm. get that landing quicker. Again, we're gonna be seeing this really cool boss technique, buffer that Tetris spirit and down goes Slogger Gaibon. Yeah, got, yeah, Slogger does need a couple more hits. However, Dragon Blitz takes that a little bit cleanly. Yeah, but he's going to <laughs> this is kind of like the like like the first round where it's like Dragon Blitz will kind of warm up a little bit. Yeah, but once he gets going, it's nonstop. The Werebane. Werebane is actually a pretty decent weapon considering all things. It has a special that hits about four or five times. All right, on over to the marble gallery then. Jupiter climb a little bit ahead and let's see what this other relic will, uh, or item, that uh, looks like the echo of that. You don't need echo any of that. Uh, force of echo, actually. Force Sorry, of yeah, echo, yeah, yeah. not necessary at all. So yeah, both players right. are gonna skip it. One of those echoes. Yeah. <laughs> One of those bat relics that we don't bother picking up. Bonk. You know, it was actually shown to Ego one time what speedrunners do in Castlevania Symphony of the Night, and one of his biggest disappointments was that nobody actually uses the walking animation that they apparently spent so much time <laughs> to put together. Honestly, the, like the amount of keyframes in that animation is really like it's a sight to behold, especially for PlayStation technology. Like being able to fit all of these layers of graphics while still making the, the, the sprites and their movements as lively as ever. Yeah, yeah. But like, you have to wonder like, what would, you know, Iga think of something like the Symphony of the Night randomizer, right? Like <laughs> we, we skipped so many things in so many different ways. And he's just like, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that you can break the, the, the bridge with the second controller by pressing the triangle button? I, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jupiter climb botching that wolf jumps and that mm. kind of puts him a little bit behind, if not a lot, by at least eight seconds or so. Yeah, and it's said that if you miss that jump twice, just go ahead and fight Doppelganger. You're mm. already behind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But that, like, let's not try to say that that puts Jupiter out of the race, right? Like, there's always time to be made up somewhere else. There, there, there's just this kind of calm before the storm, especially in the first 20 minutes of a randomizer, mm -hmm. where, where things can be can go to zero to 100. All right, let's check out this supermarket sweep. Nothing to sell, but we got a leap stone for free. Nice. We got mana prisons mana for prisons free. My Girthang. Marcel, Girthang, Alucard Sword. The shields don't look that great. Neither do the uh little, the little equipables. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's find out what's going on over at Fairy Card. Yep, next logical check. Two, two library cards right off. What is this? Well, it looks well, like we're gonna be having having to double back here later in the run. <laughs> Yeah, like those mana prisms, those those could be very powerful if you get enough money to grab them. So a diamond can put you pretty far ahead as long as bats received. Uh, those library cards are going to give us a lot of routing decisions. And again, I kind of exp uh, express this in round one, but like even random enemy drops or sorry, uh, things that you get from vials and vases could mm -hmm. hold a really, really uh, pivotal item. We haven't seen it yet this match, but we did we did see random duplicators get picked up out of nowhere in like the winner's bracket and uh yes and then they're on. I'm both just try, just trying to like just like it's a feel out session right now. Mm-hmm. 
Gonna, earlier we had gravity boots instead of uh, instead of the leapstone, so we can't necessarily make all of the out of logic checks that we would have wanted. No, but leapstone gr grants enough access to certain things, Absolutely. right? And it's a major convenience item for sure. Again, like you said in, in round one, uh, you get the ability to optimize your landing movement via the front slides. Yeah, with some and of the front dragon... slides are always necessary, even when they're not necessary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dragon Blitz, the one of the first purveyors of front slides. As you can just see, like zipping through and through this uh, climb in the clock tower. This is where that any percent experience will. Mm hmm. We'll get to damn. Like like just he's hitting like ninety nine percent of them too. Trying to get to some additional checks. There's a small potion there. Well, getting front slides is actually more about understanding the distance that Alucard has to be away from the floor whenever you start to execute it, mm -hmm. as opposed to a timing issue. So as long as you understand where you can be before you start it, you can do front slides from just about anything, including long falls, like, you know, from the top of caverns to the bottom, you can front slide off of that fall. Mm -hmm. Both players skipping the heart refresh. That's interesting to me because the heart refresh could be used for additional iframes in certain locations. Really? Yes. Um, the uh, heart refresh's iframes do not come from the same source as any other potion's iframes, and the heart refresh does not obey the timing restrictions that other iframe potions do. So you could stack iframes from both the potions and the heart Ooh, refresh dragon was just a botched climb jumps. oh no but i mean but it's, it, doesn't it doesn't matter, matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> we're gonna check to see what's up here it's a card anyway and then we got the gravity boots so we're moving now aren't you glad you failed <laughs> <laughs> we only fall so that we can rise again <laughs> that's right thank you alfred for that bit of advice we're all gonna use that from now on mm-hmm there's an elixir. Uh, big old good. nothing. Skull shield meal ticket. I mean, you already we already got two library cards on the docket for both players. Yeah. All right, DB doubling back. Well, we're gonna activate Heading this. Uh, the teleporter. Mm. I have to wonder if he goes full entrance or if he just does the uh, alchemy laboratory. Probably does full entrance. Probably, I, 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 w I would assume so. Nice usable, good elixir. Yep. Sorry, I'm one of those people that like, even if it's like a bad item or something, like I'll just be like, oh yeah, that, that's a nice, that's a nice drop there. It's a nice tear thing. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful tear thing! It looks very red. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Make a nice sword for my wall. Whoa. And what do we have here for the entrance? Nothing. Mojo mail. Yeah, we got the mojo mail. Technically, a higher defense uh, increases your intelligence armor than the brilliant mail. Same intelligence modifier, though. That was a really nice uh, gravity boot zip up there, like threading that needle, like one pixel away from bonking. You know, speaking as a randomizer player, most of this stuff, you can mostly just feel it out by a certain point. Like yeah. you just, you play it long enough and it's just, okay, this feels right. Oh, look, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, absolutely. Like it, it, you, you see that sort of thing come into play, like in like any percents or glitch lists when you're like down in the caverns trying to, you know, mm -hmm. weave your way around the, the, the jagged floors. But, uh, it's still a really nice sight to behold when you know you just need that to be really quick around the first castle in the first areas yeah well one of the main appeals of symphony of the night is you know you you look at certain games like uh uh i don't i, I can't think of any off the top of my head and you're just sitting there like really that's what you have to do to get an any percent run mm -hmm. and then you look at symphony of the night where the mu the movement is sometimes just beautiful yes <laughs> Yeah, all, all of that is part of what encompasses this game to be the greatest one of the greatest of all time if not the uh we yeah. picked up the another piece of exodia for dragon blitz above slogger and gaibon the tooth of lad or the nail 
you will. Zeke coming out with the uh, the uh, difference between casual and expert movement in Soten is just huge. That is 100% correct. Yep. Like, watching some of the racers, including myself, play versus watching Dragon Blitz play, it's, you know, night and day because he is that far ahead, and so is Jupiter Climb. He is that far ahead of us, uh, <laughs> some of us other racers. But then, like, you know... It's sometimes because randomizer is randomizer. Jewel of Open at Gravity Boots for Dragon Blitz. That's a good pickup location for that. Yeah. Hey, Dragon Helm as well. If you don't really have many, uh, again, of those really broken offensive items, Dragon Helm could help in the boss fights quite a fair bit. And it looks cool. Like, I really... <laughs> if there was ever, like, a remastered of this, like... I kind of wanted to be in Bloodstain, where like if you equip a certain accessory, it's just like on your on your person. You know, it, it's interesting because a lot of games started to do that right around 1997, right? Like you would equip something uh, here or there, and it would change your character's appearance on the map or on, uh, you know in the gameplay uh, yeah. screen. Soten didn't really do that, except for capes. <laughs> um in mega man x one like the first mega man x uh collecting the pieces of the x armor changed your appearance yeah zeke yep oh someone was asking for bracket i'm uh oh god what is that what, what is that link <laughs> all right dragon oh, blitz make classic mega man okay yeah that makes sense <laughs> well we got a holy j on the costume side didn't i, I, I didn't see it on uh, dragon blitz's side yeah it, it looks like he's just headed straight back down uh neither of the racers decided to collect that it just it isn't worth it at this point they already have uh boots and leaf stone so yeah they can get up the waterfall just head into caverns let's get yeah like, like like it, it'd probably be a bit a different story if you like really wanted it if you had like soul of mist or something but taking that mm -hmm. way around fight the bosses skip the cutscenes and all that that just is way too much time to to waste in this randomizer race yeah like if you really need to get up the waterfall as wolf uh fire 1520 has a technique video on that on his uh ran uh, on his youtube channel mm -hmm. where he shows how to actually jump of the waterfall using uh holy j so dragon blitz going down into the caverns a pretty quick and pretty clean clear like going by the book for both of these competitors so far Ooh, dragon got... blitz nice. doing this succubus check with the uh dive into gravity boots method darkling i smell your blood you have midichlorians See what do we got there? We got we got dynamite, and we are going to don the dragon helm, bloodstone. What would be the best shield? Picks up the skull shield and into Medusa we go. Oh, the skull shield versus Medusa is a really good idea. It uses ninety MP, but it does like a hundred damage per oh, hit. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I, I, sorry, I meant succubus, not Medusa. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. You're fine. And since she's almost always in the sky. Easy mode. <laughs> the big beam. All right. What's going to be the reward? Good old top deck. Also, it doesn't really matter here what the MP consumption is because the MP isn't really used until after he gets back out of Scylla. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Somebody take that dog to the vet. Alucard, you have CTE. Right <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, he's going to use the same special against Scylla, isn't he? I think so. Oh, my God. 
she does not deserve this. She is not that strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, I'm going to okay. be buffering the Tetris, the Tetris spirit. Tetris okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's much better. <laughs> Boy, Dragonblood's feeling himself. I'm about to beam this. <laughs> and there we go. Nothing. Every time somebody uses like a giant, like full full screen beam hyper super or whatever, I always think about Kirby and Super Smash Brothers using Rob's special. <laughs> Pick up that turquoise, because why not? <laughs> Jupiter Climb also employing the same strat against Sila. Dragon Blitz going for the skip on Merman statue again? Again. Again. Let, let's see let's see if it bodes well this time, and let's see if Jupiter Climb will take a bit of a divergence uh, earlier in this. I volunteer as tribute. May the odds ever be in your favor. <laughs> oh, that slowdown! Oh, God! That's just... What are we on the NES? Like, like, I mean, up, up, upgrade your drivers. For longer just destroyed his CPU, but oh, my. it actually made for an easier time fighting the boss. I don't care. <laughs> like, down. It's just... Like whenever I see lag in a video game, I just I like I just twinge back. Like it's just like, <laughs> this is my game. Like, <laughs> Silver Ring down here. Now keep in mind that Silver Ring by itself does not count towards complexity unless it's the latter of the two rings. Whichever one you receive after you collect a, a piece of complexity is the one that that actually mattered. The uh, entire randomizer is based off of the logic that you collected everything at a certain level before you reach the next level. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to find out what was that merman statue that Dragon Blitz decided to leave behind. Oh, a top it's a deck. card. Oh. Jupiter with the force save split there. Top decking Ooh. yet another summon card. Now this is an absolutely worst case scenario. Right. Now it looks like we're actually going to see the uh, wolf strats from Dragon Blitz for this particular room. Let's see. Ow. There it is. Standing on that particular spot. Gravity boots. The hardest part is over. Call 911, but not for me. Very nicely done by Blitz. The lights are on. Let's see if someone's home. TNT gauntlet plus five attack right there. I love me my gauntlet strats. And we get another Rina's piece lad. of Exodia. This is absolutely huge. Wow. Now, we could say that this means that this is the final Vlad, but that could just be a random Vlad. At this point, we don't know enough about the seed yeah. and where uh, Bat and Echo are to know whether or not that's final. Yeah, there's still so much to explore uh, within this first castle. There's a lot of uh, checks that can be accessed. I mean, you got the gravity boots and a force to, or in a ways to chain that movement alone. Mm-hmm. Bit of the uh, the old moon rod there. Cool thing about that spike trick for those that are kind of weary about like trying it um, is that the spikes will actually take a percentage of your maximum health. Right. So you have so odd chances depending on how much health you have left in order to successfully attempt uh, the little you know exploit there. Dragon Blitz going on a Grand Falloon. It's going to be a little bit of a tougher time. But there we got that is. B-Moo. Dr. Octagon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> They're also, uh, yeah, Jupiter Climb uh, attempting Grand Falloon first. But not using the Skull Shield special.
we find anything of worth there? I don't think so, right? Um, I don't think it was anything particularly useful. Okay. All right, back to supermarket sweep. Got a couple of items to sell. You got some really cool, oh, cool mist. mana prisms for bank. Mist. Yeah. It, it was the perfect time to go back to library, actually. <laughs> oh, there we go. Soul of Mist. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You must have missed it. Someone ban that guy. <laughs> ban hammer. No, 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 no. <laughs> Well, now that we do, yeah, now that we do have the miss, it's a perfect time to head back to the library, take down that lesser demon, and see what's behind that soul of bat. Yeah. Which I can only expect it to be something along the lines of e either uh -oh. progression or uh -oh. uh, could be just be a random holy glasses. Nice pause buffer from Jupiter. It's got to be a bit cleaner this time around. And another one, excellent use of the map buffer. And he's out of there. Oh, it's Merman statue. Oh, this is wacky. <laughs> so that means that the, uh, what I can kind of gather from this is that means that it's either going to be Merman statue into bat, Merman statue into holy glasses or Merman statue into spike breaker. Uh -oh. There is also the slight possibility that it's bait. We do have room for bait in this uh, preset, so. Yes. A little bit of optimized movement from Dragon Blitz. If you, if you guys didn't catch it, you can actually uh, quickly transform into Mist, but then also cancel that transformation into the transformation into the Wolf. And that's yes. a, it's a bit of a faster time assuming the position of the Wolf. Yeah, a, a lot of that is just based on the fact that it takes so much less time to transform into mist, and then it takes so much less time to transform from mist into anything else. Mm. That's how we do mist bats. That's how you do, like, you know, tr quick transformation into wolf. So many different techniques out of that. Yeah. There are, there's, there's some really slight moments throughout this uh, entire game where you can just sort of do that you know buffer these sort of transformations you might see them uh you know coming out of blue doors if, when they get the you know since they have the jewel of open they'll they could like yes. uh, buffer into a bat if they have it like just so many ways to optimize your movement increasing it by you know increasing your lead time by tenths of a second but all of that adds up especially when it comes to these two competitors and their willingness to end the seed quickly yes Jupiter is deciding to use monster vials. Oh no. Uh, is it time? <laughs> Jupiter I climb mean, was like, I, I wish it didn't have to come to this. And it looks like. We all want to see it though. Do we want to see it, chat? Do we want to see the new monster vial goodness? Ooh, ice cream. Interesting little fact though. And, and this is quasi related to the monster vial vein. Monster Vile can be paired with single-handed weapon specials, and on the list of those specials, Girthing actually has a special on the quarter circle. Really? Yes. What it does is it actually doubles the amount of blood absorbed temporarily, and I think it increases the attack by 1.25. Oh, so that's even more damage on top of the Dark Metamorphosis stack. Yeah. Girth thing is so strong, and with the and with the ability for it to multi hit when it's it's powered up state, like it's a solid weapon. Oh, it's a very solid weapon. Game ending. Holy, Holy glasses, glasses from the merman statue! It was in fact not bait. Yeah. Good on Dragon Blitz for recognizing that. I wonder if Jupiter Climb is going to do the same. Merman's like, see, I told you it would be behind here. <laughs> <laughs> For once, it was destiny. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> the good old art thou prepared from Rondo of Blood. I was not prepared for the holy glasses to be behind the Merman statue. Dragon Blitz cutting it super close there. You, like, you know he's going to make it. But do you know? Ah, ah, that was almost not making it though. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and he's opting to not do a little, you know, safety refill or anything. No soul steal. Oh my god. Hold on, guys. I gotta take my heart meds. 
<laughs> Donde tu va, Dragon Bliss? Por favor, tell me. Save point, save point. No. no. Okay. If you, if you get, oh my god. If he gets taken out by a Salem witch, I'm gonna be sad. Just sad. Not even angry, just sad. I, I'm not <laughs> mad. I'm disappointed. I, <laughs> I, the, the, or like the. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dragon Blitz. <laughs> what the f are you doing? <laughs> I'm, just, like, I'm, I'm playing back images of Switch from the Matrix. Not like this. Yeah, not like this. So, so y'all, y'all are not seeing it. But like, I, like obviously, I'm, I'm like producing this. But like, Dragon Blitz's face is as stone cold as ever. He is he so sure. He does not care. He doesn't. He does not care. And what is he doing? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Dude. <sighs> Dragon Blitz, you're getting my medical bill. Power of mist, sure. Okay. <laughs> what is he cooking? At just nine let degrees! Him cook. Just let him cook. <laughs> what is he cooking? <laughs> He's cooking puffer fish from off the coast of Japan at this point. We're all gonna die. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got <laughs> so we gotta look for that golden ring. Oh my god! <sighs> chat, I, I, I want to know. I want to know how the chat is feeling in this live broadcast. How are you feeling going Respect into round TV two? Madness. <laughs> okay, no, no, we're finally here. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that man is definitely playing a Carrick deck. <laughs> Pay my life for all of the advances. Wait. Gonna go for the maximum hits here. Perfect. A little slip of the climb? mug while Jupiter Climb goes on to the silver ring. I'm pretty sure there there is a top deck there. Wow. That I that that was what I was not sure of, as a matter of fact. And it's what are been, we even witnessing at this point? I, like I'm watching Jupiter Climb do checks that have absolutely garbage in them, and Dragon Blitz is taking off to the second castle, like yep. it, you know. <laughs> it's almost like you're seeing like a direct opposite of how these two players played in the winners' finals. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so this is actually quite insane like i i love the switch up dragon blitz is just like okay if he wants to play that way we will play that way and jupiter climb is like i i'm gonna have to do what he does at this point and what <laughs> all right well let's see what dark wing bat has held the gur thing is just incredibly powerful for all types of combat it's always nice to know that you're uh, one half circle and a square away from doubling your attack power. So, and here's another thing. Dragon Blitz can re safely return to the library with his second card. That's right. So it's, it's an instant, like no needing to backtrack that much mm -hmm. to go back to the first castle. I'm pretty sure that, that we will ring. at this point. That gold ring is out there yeah. somewhere. Yeah, and Jupiter Climb just picked it up. I think that gold ring locks that. Or Echo, one of the two. Which could matter. Mm. Because second castle movement with Wolf, still not as good as Bat. All right, well, let's see. Did Jupiter Climb make the correct decision? Bats with so many mana prisms could catch up the time difference. But what's it gonna be behind this one? What is it behind me? of breath, it is an echo of bad. Oh my God. 
th this seed wanted them to go all over the two castles and back. And Dragon Blitz said, I'm not putting up with your BS. I'm out. <laughs> I, like, I just, I, like, it's amazing what we're seeing right now. Like, and this is, this is kind of what, uh, what the audience wanted was like a major divergence, but at what cost? Yeah. No, like, it, it is said that randomizer players and randomizer racers alike have an abusive, oh, there's a duplicator drop for Jupiter Climb. Oh my God. And he, he is going to equip that and stars expeditiously. Now. Oh, he's flipping to vile strats. Uh, <laughs> you can uh, absolutely dash cancel with the a monster vial because the monster vial can spawn up to eight monsters at a time. Jupiter Climb is going to exploit that fact, so he never has to menu again. I, <laughs> I just want to see this take place in in a in a boss fight. We have a big nothing for Akhmadan for Dragon Blitz. He continues forward. And now uh, we have a uh, Jupiter at Merman check. Again, gonna be pleasantly surprised. Ow. <laughs> You're gonna be really careful. Really good movement. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Nice invincibility frame abuse by Dragon Blitz there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like it, this, this is one of those interesting moments. Like, I don't know if Vile Stacks is going to catch Jupiter Climb up. I don't even know that the Mana Prisms combined with the Duplicator are going to catch Jupiter Climb up because Bat is somewhere in Second Castle. But what I do know is that we are going to get to see something today that we have not seen in tournament yet. Take that, Azagal. <laughs> the dive kick off of Azagal is actually very reliable. I saw mm -hmm. Supers do it once, and I was just like, I want to do that now, <laughs> and have not failed it since. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I think, I think what, you like hop on the hilt or something of the sword? Correct. Yeah, so so like it's a pretty generous hitbox without a hurt box, so you don't have to worry about taking I don't know a hundred HP, <laughs> especially in Jupiter's case, who has the duplicator equipped. The stopwatch slowing down Trio so the Dragon Blitz can get full use out of the Gur thing there. But now <laughs> so I was gonna say like now you kind of have like stationary projectiles with active hitboxes like that was a bit was a bit of a classic castlevania trope if anything yeah really oh uh, there's solo bat there's dragon bat. blitz has it he doesn't have a duplicator but he's got movement now yeah i i don't think that there's going to be a recovery for this i think we uh we've just witnessed the end like, Jupiter Climb can still climb up left side. We haven't seen any of the other Vlads. Jupiter Climb could climb up left side. We know that Gold Ring doesn't have anything behind it. We just know that there's two random Vlads in the second castle that need mm. to be grabbed. Yeah, there's been and a... if they are both left side or top end of the castle, it's out. But we have to see that deviation by Jupiter. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the execution tricks I was talking about, buffering that bat right outside of that blue uh, door. Yeah, you can always tell when it's buffered because the bat moves slightly after the door closes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Jupiter's going to have a much better time with bees if bees fight is necessary. Let's see if it is. Waiting behind bated breath. Oh. There's the brim. Oh no. Oh no. Four Vlad relics, 36 minutes in, and uh, having a pretty nice clear of the bosses of the, of the inverted castle. Dragon Blitz is on a trail right now. Yeah. The, I, I don't see a situation where Jupiter Climb catches up now. If both of the Vlads were top side or left side, it could have easily been that way. Um, but not with bees holding ribs. Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, the BLs above check there just activated the door to nothingness on Jupiter Climb for this match, and it gave the game to Dragon Blitz. We see Dragon Blitz with really expert movements. Again, you can't really abuse the wolf movement in the inverted castle as much because of these, you know, not solid uh, horizontal movements, or sorry, horizontal ground to move on. Yeah. And Dragon Blitz is going to check Creature. He He's not going to risk this. He knows that he only has one Vlad left to find. He's not risking it at all. He's got that. He doesn't care. Mm-hmm. And even and he, and he, even with uh, the the duplicator on Jupiter's side, like you kind of have to. It's, it's a double-edged sword, obviously. And Dragon mm -hmm. Blitz can take a little bit of damage, you know, a little bit of hits here and there. So uh, it makes this yeah. time traversing through the second castle a bit easier. But let's see. We have the creature up next. <laughs> will this will this be the creature seed? Oh, I'm sure that this creature is bait, but you <laughs> want to check it anyway. Me, me when I drop my cereal. Nope, Cuba, yeah. so. Yep, all right, all right, mo moving on. <laughs> <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> well, wasn't a creature seed, but you saw a creature, and you know what? That counts. <laughs> <laughs> Someone went to creature. And thus continues the tradition on twitch.tv slash Bobby. Everybody going wild in the chat, knowing the creature will always bring infamy. <laughs> <laughs> Sadness, disappointment, and infamy. Very nice dodge by Dragon Blitz out there. Usually when you land from that, those spikes get you, but... Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. See, see what I mean? That, that, that duplicator debuff taking 37 damage off a of body contact from a ghoul. <laughs> it is confirmed. Creature has no heart. That is actually <laughs> confirmed. That is now canon to the story. Technically also true in the vanilla game where Creature holds Tooth of Vlad. All right, checking upwards before checking, checking uh, Doppelganger. Use some air braking and other such things to get through here a little bit quicker. And again, nice weaving throughout the, the ground. And again, since you don't have the necklace of J, or I mean, even if you did, if you were bad, you would untransform. But uh, oh, right. big old nothing, top decking. From here. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Jupiter climbed with some really great wolf movement, some nice precise stops to optimize on the, on the travel time there. No, he activated the stopwatch a little bit too early before the hitbox of Doppel 40 was actually active. He's got 117, 197 hearts. It's fine. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> it, 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 it's just a, it's just a, ah, feels bad moment, you know? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're delayed by five seconds. All right, what's behind the Doppel? Fire of Fire. bat, moving on. Done, done, and we're on to the next one. Is that a Foo Fighters reference? Yes. <laughs> Love that song. <laughs> <laughs> we're just getting all the pop culture references out today. This, this is all video you'll see. This is why I enjoy commentating <laughs> with Eldritch here. <laughs> But again, y'all, e even even if the distance seems grim, one, it's not over, not for this round. And two, it definitely won't be over because we will have another broadcast of the grand finale event. These are going to be yes. going to many, many games. Absolutely. The, you know, we might as well just consider this a calculated maneuver by Jupiter Climb to bring even more hype to this tournament, obviously. All right, if this is behind death again, I'm going to I'm going to flip. Like 
That would be the second time that death has held Dracula's heart. A little lore piece there, right? <laughs> Aww. All right. The odd couple, death and Dracula, living in a house together. Or a castle. Ah. Ooh, this is a Gallimoth seed. Yeesh. <laughs> so, if... I'm wondering... How Dragon Blitz will take the sun. It, well, we, the well, setup we... is actually really easy once you have Bat. You can just do the stun lock. Oh, you're um, right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Right. Yeah, yeah. The Gur thing is fairly slow on the swing, but it still manages it. Okay. All right, so I guess we'll, we'll get to see a little bit of loops on Dragon Blitz's side, and if we if we get to see Gallimoth on Jupiter's side, it, I'm, I'm assuming it will just be a way quicker fight with uh, with the new tech. Yeah, he said that like it's it's a little bit harder because like he can break out of you know being stun locked, huh. but the damage is just higher. Mm -hmm. It is quite impressive to see how bad a monster vial and a power of sire can melt a boss's health. Especially that power of Sire just <laughs> just tacking on the hundreds of damage right there. Yeah, it's something interesting because one of the properties um, that gets replaced whenever the Monster Vial inherits the power of Sire properties is that the power of Sire triple hit is, a, is taken on as well. Mm -hmm. So it hits three times. No matter where you are on the screen, you, it, it hits them. And then... On top of that, it does that 100 damage or so. Really? It's just interesting the number of properties that it absorb it, it takes on. No, absolutely. Something interesting discovered uh, about this uh, mechanic by Mozilla is that the the bombs in this game do not actually have a screen wide hitbox. What they do is they say doesn't matter where the enemy is, they got hit. So as long as the enemy is loaded in RAM, they get hit by the Power of Sire, or Pentagram, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, creature going down like a... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, like a decomposed something. There goes the heart. Yep, and it's the heart. officially go time. This was the Gallimot seed that people have been clamoring for. And Dragon Blitz is hot on the trail again to the reverse clock room to end this. Yeah, this is actually going to be the, the optimal scenario for us who are watching. Um, you know, we don't have to force these racers through three matches or three games today. We only have to force them through two. Fran called it earlier. She actually called the uh, the two O for Dragon Blitz to bring Jupiter into losers, but we will have a round two to loser uh, to uh, the grand finals of this tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even even without uh, like duplicator or any of these usable items, like Dragon Blitz still found himself really sound with the loadout that he picked up. Gurthang was mm -hmm. an incredibly huge boon for taking down bosses quickly, especially for Gallimoth. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, you know, as long as you have a sword with a decent swing speed, Gallimoth is almost always a free kill. Like, you just have to get him into the stun lock and it's over. Miss Fantastic bringing up the very, very interesting point. Dragon Blitz skipped five checks in the first castle and was unpunished for any of those check skips, while Jupiter <laughs> Climb skipped two, if that. Mm -hmm. So you know, They can't keep getting away with this. And it just so happened that Dragon Blitz got away with it twice now uh in the yeah. set and, and and you know normally what we see as we were talking about earlier normally what you see is jupiter's the one that skips the checks so have to wonder also kind of wondering how uh this doppelganger fight is gonna take hold <laughs> fireball oh my god <laughs> get him merman get him 
Yeah, Jupiter Klein <laughs> memeing on Doppelganger 40 right now. Like... <laughs> All right, there we go. Switching the gird thing, and then with with the with the loops. But here we go, Dragon Blitz onto the final two bosses. Looking to be a sound sub fifty. Dragon Blitz readily recognizing when the meta for the game is changing, as you know you would expect any high level player of Symphony of the Night to do. Once we start realizing that there is a new meta forming, it's kind of like, you know, some of us are a little bit resistant to it because it doesn't quite make sense at the time. But once everybody gets on board with a meta, it's kind of like, OK, mm -hmm. you have to do this. Otherwise, you just lose every time. Yeah. Hey, good old attack potion. Oh, well, certainly. <laughs> Interestingly enough, attack potions, dragon helm, all of those items help vile stacks do more damage Absolutely. faster. Because all of it's based on strength. All right, Gert, thanks, stack, bit rate, hell. And it is only a couple of seconds now. There it is. It sealed the deal. Is done. Dragon Blitz. Dra Dragon Blitz wins the tournament, committing the Shun Goku Satsu no, no. on Jupiter Climbs Rain at the top. Oh, we we get we. I mean, we still have a reset. He reset the bracket. We get to see more Symphony of the Night yeah. randomizer. Yeah. So we have yeah, an. We just have to wait for next to, the next batch. So we have a uh, one final set, but it will not be broadcast today. Uh, there's a bit of a little, little time constraints, but holy, we're going to get to- I can't keep getting away with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> uh, you know, I've really been like practicing my uh, my luck. Um, my luck stat, honestly, yep. is the, the thing I've been primarily uh, focusing on in general. Mm. Very underrated stat in general. Um. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of Ah. That was, that was a wild set of races, though. It was. And I get to pay out so many channel points. <laughs> like, like, people here have been rallying for either or. And it's, 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 super, it's super dope to, to see even more uh, Symphony of Night randomizer. Like, after, like, like the absolute final. The absolute finale. The absolute mm -hmm. final first to three, or first to two, rather. But, uh... Yeah. I gotta get I, I gotta get some I gotta get some thoughts. <laughs> yeah, let, let's pull them in here. I want to know. Oh, National Lord. Enquirer. All right. Well, let's see. Well, we're going. We're we are going to get them in momentarily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was on. That was on the stream. We're gonna get. We're gonna get them in right now. There we go. But a, a, a nice demonstration of the uh, the monster vile trick, disposing mm -hmm. of Gallimoth quite quickly. Yeah. I mean, Gallimoth just that was a net. Like, that there. was filthy. <laughs> Dragon Blitz, welcome on in. What's up, congratulations? What up? What up? Um, all I can say is I've uh, been in the lab. I've been practicing um, my luck. It's the most important stat in the game. Um, just get yes. luck you win every race. Now, I, I have to wonder, like, <laughs> you took off out of the set, uh, first castle after skipping five checks. How many of those did you know were absolutely garbage? Uh, in my mind, I was assuming that uh, the other ring probably led was either like at silver ring or is in second castle or something and it probably led to either bat or echo and i was fine with skipping both there was two vlad relics um that were just random because i found the final vlad relic so i'm like okay the second castle technically has the most random checks available so it would be the highest density possible therefore i should just go to the second castle 
and see what happens. Worst case scenario, I still won game one, so I just, you know, have to reset into uh, a, a third game. Mm. Yeah. Now, speaking of game one, you did something this time that you don't normally do. You actually skipped Merman statue. Any thoughts behind that? Um, in general, I've learned that in the randomizer tournament, um, it's not you're not just playing Symphony of the Night. You're also playing the player. And having lost to Merman Skip um, in the winner side of the bracket from Jupiter, I was fairly confident that he would at least consider it, which gives me a, a pretty similar chance of both of us skipping it at the same time. And if both players choose to skip the same relics, it's not as scary. Because if it was a Vlad relic, that means you're both missing that Vlad relic and you both have to find a way to route it in later. So in general, my game plan kind of was like, what would Jupiter do? And I'm just going to do that and just try and move faster than him, you know? WWJD, remember that. What would Jupiter do? <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's my goat right there. <laughs> well, very nicely played, Dragon Blitz. Congratulations on the win. We're still trying to get Jupiter in here, but definitely. Uh, Bobby, did you have any questions for DB? Yeah, how did you feel coming into that second round? Because, uh, you know, there, there had to have been like a nice boost of confidence, you know, uh, having the, the one point up on Jupiter. But there was also a bit of a slog to the first seed. I mean, like, yeah, we did get a, you know, a, a piece of Exodia right off rip, but it was kind of by the book. Didn't really have that much vertical movement, even out of logic, like in the first round. So uh, mm -hmm. how are you feeling about the pace that you were going in like the first 20 minutes of that? Um, I felt like my movement was pretty good. I was able to perform pretty much all the stuff I've wanted to practice outside of um, the flea riders did give me a little bit of trouble. Um, but other than that, like that route is pretty standard with uh, getting gravity boots. The only thing that would have been insane, shout outs to Dinner Dog, uh, library skip uh, where you just check the outer wall relic, the wolf relic. And if it happens to be flight, um, just not going to the library until later. This seed would have been perfect for something like that. Um, and I considered it and I'm like, maybe Jupiter tries it. So I was still a little nervous. Um, I genuinely thought that the first uh, match was going to be closer than it was, but. Mm -hmm. Now, all, all everybody in chat is asking, what was your mindset during the nine hit point uh, dip that you took all the way through three different zones of the castle? Oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna get hit there. What? Like, come on now. See, I told you. <laughs> what? Nine HP. That's plenty. Plus, I had enough defense where most things were only gonna do one. If I get hit nine times, I deserve to lose. <laughs> come on now. This is grand finals. <laughs> but still, anything could happen in this randomizer tournament. But, but... true. So what's, right. what's going to be the uh, final question for me? What's going to be the mindset going into the bracket reset where the kind of tricks that you uh, kind of took from Jupiter Climb to employ in your game here might be familiarized with and, you know, might be paid off with riskier strats on his end. So what's the mindset going into the final match of this season? Um, well, I'm trying to think. Like, I think game one, just try uh, WWJD, what, what would Jupiter do? Try and um, find the correct Yomi level. Uh to to um, just try and do the same route that he's doing as close as I can possibly re replicate it. He could try and out layer me and like do something completely crazy, but that forces him to do something completely crazy where I'll still be doing like a somewhat normal route. So I feel like uh, getting some sort of early lead just matters so much in a uh, best of three scenario. So mm -hmm. looking forward to trying to do that. And then um, there's always the potential of left side. I've been saying it. It, it hasn't shown up yet in this. Uh, this bracket, but left side could uh, could show up maybe in uh, set number two. Oh yeah. Well, thank you for the the uh, the the insight there. Um, excellent games. Uh, we couldn't be happier with the result over here as commenters and watchers. Uh, Jupiter Climb, welcome on in. Congratulations hello, hello. for making it to uh, losers bracket finally. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to that. Um, hey, thank you. What what was your mindset going through game one there? Well, let me just say overall, I thought both of these seeds were excellent and hopefully it was good to watch. I had a lot of fun playing both. Absolutely. I could tell in the middle of game two that uh, I was not going to win that one, but I had a lot of fun with the vile stack duplicate. So that was sick. But yeah, game one, I feel like I played really well. A lot of my practice worked out with two exceptions that I want to talk about. First one, the spike room. No idea what happened there. I promise I will never mess that up again. Much cleaner in game two.
I was probably a good minute lost. Uh, I'm glad I didn't panic at least. Mm. And the second problem was I had a complexity misread. And that's why I used my library card towards the end when I shouldn't have. So my feeling was, look, I think we're heading into complexity seven now, but it was actually complexity six. I had forgotten about Merman. So I wanted to get some mileage out of my library card. Mm -hmm. Save like 10 seconds, maybe that makes the difference. But that was a mistake. And at that point, I was thinking, look, uh, we had the spike room issue, the library card issue. I've got to go for something. So I went for the uh, creature and B's double skip, which I'm assuming Dragon Blitz went with as well. Uh, I checked B's above. I did not check um, creature. Oh, really? Very nice. Yeah. So I you, had, you had a pretty good lead at that point then. Yeah, the only things I skipped in um, Seed 1 was I skipped Merman Statue and I skipped uh, Beezlebub, and I think that was it. Oh, you skipped Merman? Yeah, I figured I had a read that you would do it, so I was like, I'm just going to try and skip what you're going to skip. Um, no, totally fair. Yeah, I've been yeah. doing that a lot lately. Um, yeah. Didn't skip it either time, I don't think. I think mm -hmm. I did a save split game too, which oh, I was so sad to see that familiar. As far as game two goes, I um, thought it was fine. Uh, a couple of early bonks, but that's going to happen. Uh, otherwise, I decided my approach is going to be play disciplined and skip nothing. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, all the stuff you could have skipped, that's like common to skip, was nothing. So yeah, let me yeah. just recap here. We got a Holy Glasses was empty. Silver Ring was empty. Pretty sure Fire of Bat was empty. It was... Uh, creature uh, was nothing. Yeah, it was like Power of Mist or something at Fire of Bat. Mm. Yeah, so the only one that you really could have skipped and got, or, or uh, you would have gotten punished for skipping was Beeps. So yep. that was my one hope in the back of my mind, maybe DB, because, you know, DB's been doing a lot of B skip lately. Maybe he'll skip that one, but it was so deep. It was all the way up to Gallimoth that I don't think it was going to matter. So, yeah, game one, I wasn't going to win because I only did those gambles because of the mistakes. If I hadn't, I probably would have done creature game one. So, um, yeah, tough one. I'll have to think about my approach for set number two. Yeah. But, um, you know, Soden Rando, it's a casino. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to change up how I play the cards in uh, set number two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes the most important stat is the luck stat, and yeah, like especially we at the top level. Earlier, the luck component of uh, any game is usually the best part of any game, and people just don't realize it. You didn't get the duplicator drop in game two, did you, Dragon Blitz? No, I did not. I was running. Okay, so um, in a way, it's a perfect. good thing. I would never hear the end. Oh, Jupiter. Oh, never <laughs> punished. Gets another duplicator in tournament. I'm glad I didn't win. So we got the best of all worlds. People aren't going to give me a hard time, and I got to show off the new Vile stack technology. Yeah, so I yeah. actually I'm wanted happy. to ask a question about that, because we saw that a little bit later into the second round, and... As you were cleaning up Gallimoth, I mean, you really cleaned house with Gallimoth. Yeah. So, what's. Do you think that there will be a place for the Monster Vile strats in set two? Yes. Uh, yeah, I need to learn how to do it. But as soon as I learn how to do it, it's. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely uh, consider it. DB, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now how to do it. You ready? Here we go. Yeah, I'm down. Let's learn. So you, you throw the Monster Vile. Uh -huh. And then before it's fully formed, but after you throw it, mm -hmm. you throw the bomb. That's it? That's it? Yeah, like as it's spawning in or during that group as it's spawning in and, and i tend to find that the closer it is to fully forming right you know it's, it's kind of like shrinks and it goes up to regular yeah, size yeah, yeah. before okay. it's full size you throw it oh yeah then okay <laughs> i'll try that out yeah <laughs> i will say that gallimoth moment it was hype but my heart almost stopped <laughs> i ran out of mp with a mystic pendant and almost died but two merman stacks were enough that was uh, pretty good it's it's never a, a, a randomizer see with Jupiter climb if it's if it's not like him like panicking out of like one second, but just having like the most expert gameplay throughout the rest of the run. Like it's yeah. it's, it's really uh, fascinating to behold. Well, uh, so we will be back here, uh, not soon, but but you know in the distant future to settle it to settle it between these two, winner take all. Jupiter climb versus Dragon Blitz in the finale of the spring randomizer tournament do any of you have anything to say before we sign off here i know uh dragon Blitz, you got uh, some business to attend to yeah i'm gonna be on the uh gdq stream doing some more randomizer stuff with my good pal adef if you want to check that out uh also uh <laughs> shout outs to my newest youtube video that just went live uh on the main channel so uh that's all i got to plug today uh can't wait for set number two
Do you really got anything to plug? Any any? Oh, are we, are we plugging stuff now? Yeah, yeah. go to <laughs> youtube.com slash Jupiter Climb. Just <laughs> uploaded a brand new All Souls randomizer today. It's hype. The enemies are a little different. Got to give it a look. Also, Bobby, thank you so much for hosting. I think you're maybe the best in the business when it comes to Castlevania Restreams. Really appreciate it. Uh, I think this tournament deserved to set number two for Grand Finals. Mm -hmm. I just want to take one. Can, can I take one? Dragon Blitz. I Look, I was commentating that loser's finals. I saw this coming. He's been playing super hot. I want to take one and hopefully keep it close. Yep. I'm excited. And for anybody trying to get into the randomizer, Soten.io is the main website. SymphonyRando.fun will get you started. And the Long Library Discord. There's invites all over the place. Uh, come and see us. We want you to run with us. Yeah. Goodness said it, said it better myself. Again, this is one of the best communities to be a part of, and I'm super glad that people here watching are so excited to see how the rest of this tournament finals turns out. But until then, we'll be seeing you soon. But do not despair, because we are only one click away. Take care, everybody. For Bobby, which is me, for Dragon Blitz, Jupiter Climb, and Eldritch, take care. We will see you soon, and as always... Hey everyone, if you made it to the end of this video, you're awesome. If you really liked it, consider subscribing and watch some more of our related content here. Take care, we'll see you soon, and as always, thank you for watching.